Hello, welcome to Linux Kelp tutorial. Now we can see one of the basic and commonly used command in Linux. The command is move command. Move command is the basic command which is permanently moves the files or directories from one location to another. That means it deletes the file in the source. The basic syntax of move command is move options and the source file and the destination file. So now first we can see how to move a file so in this test directory we are having test1.txt and test2.txt file so now i am moving test1.txt file to the destination path i am taking the destination path as user1 and pictures so now the test1.txt file is moved so now we can list the destination user1 and pictures so there you can see the test1.txt whereas in source you can see the test1.txt file is removed and the next option we see how to move multiple files at a time so in test directory we are having three files so now i am moving test1.txt and test2.txt at a time to the destination path home user1 and pictures so in source file both the files are removed whereas in destination you can see the files transfer pictures so you can see the both files are transferred now we can see how to move a directory uh, in cp command we have to specify some options to move or, or copy a directory whereas in move command we don't need any options the basic syntax is move and the directory name this temp1 and the source so the destination home user1 pictures so now the directory is transferred to there and i am listing the destination so the temp1 directory is moved to the destination path here move command is not only for transferring or moving files or directories it can also be used to rename both files and directories and the syntax is move and the existing name and the new name to be renamed so here you can see the three directories and the third directory name is tempp so now i am renaming this directory with old name to temp3 so now the directory name is renamed to temp3 the next option is tracking the process tracking the process is nothing but it will display the process going on in terminal so oh now i am listing this test directory there you have four files now i am moving this every files that is dot txt files to home user one and pictures and i am using the option hyphen v so here you can see the process that is test1.txt file is moving to the destination path and test2, test3 and test4. This is the use of hyphen v option. And the next one is interactive mode. Uh, in this test directory we are having test.txt file whereas in uh, home user1 and picture directory we have the same name test.txt file. So now I am moving the test file from test directory to this path user1 and pictures so it will send the files to this destination without any questions so to avoid this we have to use the option that is interactive mode so now i am using hyphen i option to transfer the file to home user1 and pictures now it asks for the question to overwrite or not while giving yes the file will be overrated and in test directory it is empty and in the destination the file will be overrated completely it's overrated so the next option we see is to move only if the source is modified for that we have to use the option hyphen u or in test directory we have three files file 1 file 2 file 3 dot txt uh, whereas in say the same files are in user1 and pictures 
both the directories have the same contents so now in test directory i am editing file one dot txt hello linux help so and i am saved so now i can see the file one dot txt is having some contents so now i am moving this file dot txt files to home user one and pictures and here i have you i have to use the option called hyphen u and i'm using hyphen v to show the process what is going on so here you can see the file one.txt is alone transfer since it is edited the recent so now i am listing the destination directory it is user one and pictures there you can see the file one.txt is changed to 16 so the next option we see is taking a backup of moving file so in test directory we are having file 1 file 2 file 3 dot txt files while transferring this file to another location uh, in that location it will create the same three files with backup for these three same files so now i am moving this every text files to home user 1 and pictures and i am using the option called hyphen b to backup and we to view what the process is going on so while running this command you can see that the file one.txt is transferred to the destination path and this and in the same path the backup file with the same name until symbol at last is created so in destination path you can see the backup file created pictures so here we are having six six files this file one.txt and the backup file for that file is file one.txt with tilde symbol these are the basic usages of move command thank you